So today, come along with me as you embark on a journey across real Americana. I'm talking real farm life. You're going to spend an entire afternoon with a true, real farm family. See how it really is, not how the movies depict it is. This is a family who lives in rural America, and it's going to be a really fun day living as real farmers live. So come and join me. Hi everyone! I am in Van Zant, Missouri. Van Zant, Missouri. Look that one up on the map. And I am at my niece's house. They live out in the country. Or as some might say out in BFE. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's a gorgeous place and I want to show you how country folks live. Real life country folks. So here we go. This is Brittany's front porch. Now, folks, you need to know this. You need to know that these, this couple, my niece and her husband, Denver, they built this home. I mean, they built it from the bottom up. Every bit of it was work they put into it. And it has such a neat country feel. Look at these things that she's done to it. It just reeks of good old country farm life. And this is a farm. It is as close to a farm as you'll ever find. I'm going to show you. Okay, I want to show you the interior of the home. It is country. And I mean country, but it it just she's just done some things in here that just makes me smile because you know, she's got little memento pieces and I'm going to show you one here in a second. Right here this bench. I gave her this bench several years ago, well, about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at my home and she took it and that is an old, old school bench, school desk that folks used in this. I think my grandpa's was my grandpa's. Was it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it smells so good, folks. I wish you could smell, I wish I had smell-o-vision so that you could smell how good it smells. Look at the, you can't, can't, deer hunters. This is deer hunting. This is where folks come and deer hunt. We have to thin the herd. We have to thin the herd around here. Um, and I know that there are folks who will say, oh my gosh, but it's a different way of life back here. And you have to understand it. You know, if you didn't, these uh, big fellas would, the whole disease, disease and, and all would kill them out. And uh, so look at this. I just really want you to get a feel for this home. This really country, true country home. And she's got it so cute. It's done so well. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and I, I wanna go back to the fact that they did every bit of this. I mean, they built, these floors were put in by them. These logs in this wall were put in by them. You see this ceiling? The kids actually did the ceiling. The kids did the ceiling. <laughs> How many of you can say that about your own? Seven and nine. Seven and nine. And she did the, would you do all the backboards? Baylor? The tiles? You did the ceiling, it, it, I was just told. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes, this is Baylor. I want everybody to see Baylor. Say hi to the hi. folks that's gonna watch this. Mm -hmm. Baylor Ray. And she and her brother Dawson did this four years ago. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, there'll be more later on. I just really wanted to take a picture of sitting here at her dining room table and looking out there. Is that not just a gorgeous sight? Truly a beautiful sight. Very calming. <laughs> well, folks, I want to show you what a feast we're about to have look at that barbecue chicken i believe we're going to have some hot dogs too because the hot dog buns are right there she's got something in that pot over there look at these homemade cookies we're going to have a little bit of tater salad what do y'all think yeah it's pretty, good we're starving. pretty good we're starving we're gonna we're about to eat this is Britt's husband denver and then okay. both the kids there's Dawson. show your show your there you go look at those farm arms that, that's what you call farm arms, folks. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the shower 
that Brittany laid all of the stone and mason work herself for this shower. This shower they put in. Folks, I can't go over enough, I can't say it enough, how much these kids did this from start to finish. Nobody came in here and helped them. They, they, every brick, every log, all of this is there. The four of them, uh, Denver and, and Brittany, and look, the, the logs, I'm gonna turn this upside down so railroad. you can see how railroad tie up there. I hope you can see that railroad tie. Look at this. They did all of this themselves, folks. Everybody. Farm life, pure and simple. Boy, isn't that the truth? Pure and simple. Brittany was just telling me that uh, her mother-in-law gave her this framed picture of something that Denver had drew when he was a young, young boy. The thing is, is that the man is now a builder. And as I've said several times, he built this home. So that tells you something. Um, when he was a young man, he was even thinking of building a, a log cabin that looks a lot like <laughs> yeah. this house right now, folks. Looks an awful lot like the front porch of this house right now. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out on the back porch, but I gotta show you a tin roof. You saw the roof on the inside of the house. Well, this is the tin roof and it's just so cool. It's just a neat thing to have a tin roof. We're out here on the back porch. Bay, say hi. That's Baylor Ray. Uh, we're out here on the back porch and we're looking at, at the back end of the house with the pool. These, these country folks have a pool. A lot of you city folks don't have a pool. Well, these folks have a pool too, but look at their view when they're setting at the pool. Is that not just glorious? Yeah. But a barn, and this is the well house. Uh -huh. Ha ha, I didn't know for sure. I had to turn around and ask Brittany. But look at that now. Is that not a uppity uppity well house if ever you saw one? You don't see many like that, even in the country. This is our wood furnace and it actually heats our water. Heats their water. That's how they do it in the country. Folks. Beautiful breeze coming. Got a dirt road down there behind them. Baylor's running away because she doesn't want to get in here. I can hey tell. everyone. I'm anyway. gonna get here with my two special people. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel i please wish you would do so this is the kind of video i love doing these are two of the most special people in my life i wanted to show you them okay bye bye okay folks i wanted to show you this Britt was just telling me that uh we are in the barn portion of their of their uh, property right now where the barn is and i showed you the barn earlier what i didn't tell you was that they the four of them lived in this barn prior to uh, them building cab the log house now um they lived in this for how long Britt? uh from february 23rd to january 1st of the next year of the next year so they lived here but Britt built this herself she's not only a mama and a cook <laughs> and a you name it you she can do it she built this herself our, this was our hey this was our closet this was where our towels and our soaps he welded this to be our shower cover. And then, I mean, this was, we built this up to be our shower while we lived in This here. is how they had to live. They had to make <laughs> do. And it, hey, well, there's a lot of folks that don't have even that. We came out of a, a bed and breakfast, old farmhouse turned bed and breakfast. There was another one in the kitchen um, and it was from Theodosia. Now this is the barn, uh, resorted back to their, their barn, but they still have this out here. So uh, you can tell that they spend a good deal of time out here, just as much probably as inside. <laughs> yes. That's right there. This right here is what Brittany used to cook on when they lived out here in the barn for the first year and a half. This is what she cooked on. If you can see that right there in the corner. Yeah, that's what you call some good old home cooking came off of that right there. Okay, folks, I gotta show you this. This is all the tack and horse um, uh, supplies. Baylor is a huge, huge horse, you know horse, horse lady, I should say. Baylor horse young cow, woman. Cow she loves them. horses. She rides them. She uh, shows them. Does she still show? She uh, does rodeos and all kinds of things. Her dad built this for her so she could put all of her horse, horse riding supplies in there. Look at those saddles. I bet one of your grandpa uh, Buskers is in there somewhere. I know he had a couple, but this is the uh, 
Now, I know that there's many of you who know what this is, but these are homemade. I mean homemade cornhole boards. Mm -hmm. he, and you can tell he's, he's even uh, uh, put acrylic, I mean, uh, what's yeah. that called? Uh, acrylic uh, over them so that they're nice and beautiful and shiny and gorgeous. He made these so that the kids and him and whoever was over could play yeah. cornhole. Here's the back side. And then you have your legs that come out. Look at that, folks. <laughs> this is what people do. I just had to take a picture of this. Brittany's grandpa, Buster, who I always considered a member of my family because he was so good to me when I was young. He, uh, he shot that many years ago. Yes. You know how old that is, Britt? A lot older, and, she, and she's 35. I'd say that, so that goes back probably 45 years, probably, that he shot that, and it's hanging, it's hanging here. And Patsy Klein's playing. And Patsy Klein's <laughs> in the background. Don't get much better than that. <laughs> It's Earlier, I was I was telling you about Calvin Lafayette Buster Cook, uh, a good friend of ours, gave Brittany these, and he'll know who he is if he ever sees this. Dale Hankins, I'm going to throw his name out there. He gave these to Brittany. They are what are they, Britt? Uh, log jacks, like home they are lifts. old old log jacks that belong to Brittany's grandfather. Uh, that eight, that dates them a little bit. I'd say they those things right there. are oh 75 years old if if not older you see this right here this was britney's 30th birthday present from from denver not not flowers not candy <laughs> by golly she got a work work truck and she loved it i, I bet do, I and do. still does that thing right there is mm -hmm. you can take your flowers you can take your candy you can take your jewels it's handier a lot of women flowers. would rather have right there what, what you're looking at nothing's complete on a farm until you can see a pig right here we got two of them yep they got pigs hey, too Brett, let me ask pigs. you something seeing these piglets here when uh when they're you know gone off and we won't say where we'll take them off to but when they're gone you ever gonna get some more pigs on this farm no no pig farming is over pig farming is done we will do butcher pigs this is we need to. this is the last of the pigs so <laughs> sorry pig. sorry Baylor was just showing me here uh, Brittany's Mother's Day present. Show me what that is and tell me what that is, Bay. It's a garden digger. You can scoop and make places for seeds with this. And you can make rows with this or this. And then you can get rocks up or roots and stuff with this. And this come off of a rig. Yeah. This come off of a gas pump. And that's just a nail. That's all it is. And this is some pipe. Hold it on to a hoe. That's the way we do things here. <laughs> That's the way they do things here. <laughs>to show you the beauty and the majesty of the of these ozark hills we're out taking a ride uh, we're on our way to topaz never heard of topaz but i must not be as hillbilly as a lot of them but uh topaz we're headed to topaz but i just said let me show folks the beauty of these ozark mountains and hills and it's just gorgeous out here it really is we're out here. okay so earlier i said we were going to topaz missouri I have never driven up on a place before in my life where I was so enchanted, so so happy to see. This is Topaz, Missouri. This must have been an old general store at one time, mm -hmm. you think, Britt? And that's the mill. And here is the mill. The mill. It sits down on the creek. You can see the creek behind it there. There's a creek behind it. And it's just the most glorious place. Look at this. You just don't see this. Right here is the lady. The lady that lives. Can I take a picture of you? There you go. You can take a picture yeah. of everything but me. Oh, 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 you're beautiful. Don't even say that. Look, they live right here. Oh, this is just the most unique experience. This. Who would have ever thought we would have driven up on an old mill like this? This is just fascinating. It's just beautiful, too. If you can look down there, I'm going to kind of scope in on the on the little the um, stream the the stream where this mill this old mill hi there i am here with joe and joe lives up here on the banks of topaz is this considered this is the, to town, of to this is the town of topaz 
Tell us a little bit about it. The town would. was established in 1893. That's when they got a post office here, and the post office was there for 50 years. It uh, closed in 1943. There's been, over the years, there's been a mill, a store, a blacksmith shop, a canning factory, barber shop, and a distillery here. My goodness. Over the, over the years, the, the mill was closed in the late 30s, the early 40s, we're not sure when. I'm the mill was built in 1895, that building there. The people that homesteaded this place in the 1840s supposedly built the first mill. And when did it close down? Well, the, the mill closed, we think, in the late 30s or early 40s, we're not sure which. The really? store, like I said, the, the post office closed in 1943. And where was the post office at? In the store building. In the that store building. building. Built. That building wasn't built until 1913. That building right there that we're looking at right now. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But the post office was established in 1893, so for 20 years the post office was in a different building. And we have a picture of this mill right after it was built in the late 1890s, and you can see the front of a store on the other side of the road right over here. Uh-huh. So I take it the, the post office was in that building for the first 20 years, but I don't know that. Wow. We're in Douglas County, Missouri, folks, just so you'll know. Douglas County... Uh, butts up against Ozark County and Howe County, and we're kind of centralized right there in the middle of them, isn't yeah. Douglas County? Taney yeah. County, Taney, Christian yeah. County. So that gives you an idea, all you all you Northerners or or Southerners that are familiar with this part of the uh, neck of the woods, this is where we're at. Yeah, so. Wright County and Texas County are to the north, so. Right smack dab in the middle, aren't we? Uh -huh. this, uh, Douglas County, the only town left in Douglas County is Ava. Yeah. It's the only post office. Over the years, there's been 93 post offices in Douglas County alone. Wow. And if you look if you look up postal records, most counties in Missouri had 70 or 80, 90 post offices. Back no in, kidding. Back in the late 1800s, if you didn't have a post office, you didn't have any communication with the outside world. Gosh. And there was post offices everywhere. There were, there were five post offices between here and Kabul, and that's 15 miles. My at one, gosh. At one time. They were just everywhere. Anyway, There's I'm, a little bit of history about this old mill and this old town. Oh, man, it's cool. It's really cool. Thank you, Joe, for telling us a little bit about you're it. You're quite welcome. I appreciate it so much. You're quite welcome. Okay, so he hauls them in on old Petey over there. And then... The they, logs he hauls in. And uh -huh. then they are loaded onto the deck. And then there's a control box in the office, and it rolls them up there, and then the saw is a wood miser, and this is a band mill. It's not a circle mill. This is what is a band mill, and the band cuts it this way, and then it comes up on the roller, on the belt, and then onto the rollers, and then it's flipped over and shoots through the edger, and then each lumber stack is there. And then we have our slab rack where the edges and the bark are stacked. And then they get banded and stacked over there and used for like charcoal pellets. And they go to another mill. They're hauled off. Um, and then our sawdust pile used to be sold, but the plants are shut down around here now. That is pine ties cut out raw edge on the outside and will be used to build a cabin later on. Um, this is just a, uh, another thing that these folks do. This is just one more factor in farm life right here. I got that on film. <laughs> I jumped on her back. I got that on film. Oh, oh, the barefoot cowboy. Oh my gosh. This is why mom hey, had a heart attack. This is Dorito. Jose Guido Dorito. And he protects our cows and our weaning calves. Can y'all see that? That is coyotes. a donkey. He runs. That is a now coyotes. there's a difference in donkeys and jackasses. This is a donkey, correct? Yeah. yeah. I thought they were the same he thing. don't want road either. No. Dad gets on him and he'll just stop. He'll he ran around with a saddle on him for a couple oh, of days don't like him. because he may breed her. Oh, I didn't think about that. No way. 
Okay, folks, this is the end of the tour. We've been all over the place. You're gonna see it on the end of this video. Like I said, you can see this, this is a true farm family. We've shown you everything that farm life is about. If you, if you haven't seen it now, you're not gonna see farm life like it really is. Thank you all, I love you all. It's been a, a true joy. Hey folks, subscribe to my channel and you'll see more of this kind of videos, okay? <laughs> okay, thanks so much, bye-bye.